So this is going to be a how to replace the boom cylinders on the IMC DMAG AC700 with the YCC cylinders. You'll need pliers, a really small punch or something with a point because you'll have to get in here to push the pin out. Scissors or exacto knife to cut the hose, the rubber hose. And I would prefer or recommend getting the YCC super glue because it comes with this long tip and it doesn't leave the white residue. Also, I've already glued the hoses to mine and I'd recommend doing that before you put them on because it's just going to be really difficult to hold the hoses into those holes when it's already on the model this one has three the little short one will loop around and come and connect to this one that's the only one that I'll have to glue once I get them on. So. I think that's all you'll need. There's only four pins. There's one at the top. One down here. I'm going to change them out one at a time. So. This is the only one that's really difficult to get to. That's why I recommend these really long needle nose pliers because you'll have to get in between this ladder so it should only take five ten minutes maybe but it's pretty easy pretty straightforward and one other thing a tip you don't have to glue this on I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. Right here and right here are the holes for that little etch piece. Do not put glue in there because those holes go all the way through the cylinder and you'll end up gluing the ram inside so do not glue that it has little tabs on the ends you just slide them in those holes and they'll it'll stay so let's get into it all right i don't know how well this is going to work out i'm sure my arm and hand will get in the way but What you want to do is take your pointer tool or uh, punch and you just have to tap the pin from the inside. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But... You can see it right here. It's pushed out. I'm trying not to get into the video with my arm. There's that pin. I've already tapped these a little bit so they're not tight. I'm just tapping through, pushing through. But there's the first one. I'll zoom in a little bit.
Oh, and another thing about the YCC cylinders are they have casted detail into them. And the ram itself is actually wider or thicker than the original. By a lot. So they just look so much better. So I'm going to put the top pin back in first. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Pin's actually a little loose. Take the bottom pin, put it back in. Hopefully I don't get in the camera. This one I'll have to tap in. There's one, anyway. Tighten the screw up. So when I take the other one off, it won't collapse. You can see the difference. Top pins fairly loose, so I'll probably put drop glue on the outside or something just so it can't come back out. And the hoses on the real crane, there's little slots from right here that are cut out that these hoses run into but the model doesn't have it so you'll probably just have to lay them on top run them back inside there or something or maybe attach them right here and glue them it's up to you do this bottom pin A little tap on this one. Here's my other pliers. 
because these got teeth on them, the other ones don't. This one is a little bit tricky because you got that little etched piece to put in with it. You want it on the outside of the piping. Just like that. Like I said, don't glue that because you'll end up gluing the ram inside. Make sure your rubber hoses are facing out just like this. So my arms in the way and just trying to line this up. I have to extend the cylinders. Probably have to put the top pin in and then maybe Lot of that edge piece in the way the cylinder can hang and have some of the weight. Try not to get my hand all in it, but being difficult. I got it. Put this other pin in in the bottom. Tap that in here in a minute, but camera don't want to focus. There you go. Here's the cylinders and edge piece in. Like I said, you'll run the hoses, 
you lay them on top and run them back in there or glue them in to the side right here in between the cylinders whichever you want I'll probably run it beside the cylinder right there and glue it so that's kind of how it looks on the real thing there's just a hole right here on each side that the hoses run into but I'll take this other hose and run it from here over to this one. It's just a little loop. But there they are. Easy as that. Like I said, this model really don't need these cylinders, but they just give it that extra little detail. I think the color is just a tiny, tiniest bit off. Maybe, maybe it's the light. But... It has the reflective stripe down the side like the originals. Pretty much exactly the same. Except the new ones have these casted uh, clamps on them. And up here at the top, the collar. And at the bottom. I have to push these pins in a little more, but here's the new and the old. I think these were only like $97 shipped from YCC, so definitely worth getting like all the cylinders that they make. I think I have just about everything, every cylinder that they've made, except for like an LTN 1050 because I don't have that model, but hopefully he makes some more for different cranes because I have a lot of cranes that would that really need it. AC 1000 needs them. AC 100 needs it, or the RT 130. They already make an AC 100 cylinder. <laughs> I already have it, so. But yeah, here's the new cylinders. This video is pretty long already, so. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.